how'd you get that fat lip? <laughs> This is Chrissy Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I got Journeyman John with me and we are testing out a tool. And this tool is, what is it called, John? I don't know. Fast Trim. It's, this is the Fast Trim Roller. <laughs> it's called the Fast Trim Roller. Roller and, system. Roller system. Uh, fast Trim System? It's, it's a roller system. The roller it's system. It's the whole kit and caboodle. Kit and caboodle. You have any thoughts of it right up front, John? Up front, um, I guess me. This is me personal, personal opinion. You know, I don't, I don't really care for this little adjustable dilly thing. Like, one, I guess one, I feel like it's too long, so it's not going to hang in a bucket very easily. Um, it, it just seems. Um, like this just is odd to me. I'd rather just have something that comes down straight and then I could use a kind of a third party or a different sort of accessory to change the angle on it. But um, there are photos on the packaging of someone like cutting in a ceiling line from the ground with an extension pole. So maybe it works. And so I think you know, one of the, the things about this thing is it's supposed to eliminate um, the need to go up and down ladders. And so the reason why it has this dial thing is say like you got a, a vaulted ceiling or something like that, you can set this thing at an angle like that to run up your, say your vaulted ceiling and you hook it to an extension pole. Now you don't have to get up a ladder and go up there and, and paint. And so, you know, as a painter, it eliminates you going up and down ladders. I mean, I guess that would be a good thing. You know, as soon as I grab the thing, my first thought is you can't use it in a bucket, a typical two gallon cutting bucket because it hangs and it touches the bottom of the bucket so it would be all the way in your paint, which the system is, is you do not want to get, you know, paint all over the, the edge of this thing right here. This is the part that does the cutting in for you. This whole system is supposed to make a perfect cut in without a brush. Perfect cut in. So um, it is a, a microfiber roller too. So, but, but I think too, another thing initially when I first grabbed it in my hand, you know, as a professional painter, the quality of the plastic, I'm gonna look at the quality of the product first and go, is it gonna be durable enough to last you know in our vans the abuse of being tossed in and out every day uh, being used all the time being stepped on being dropped and the handle on itself this portion of the handle to me is kind of like just maybe a low grade or mid-grade plastic right. maybe i wouldn't consider it like that you know milwaukee or dewalt type industrial plastic i look inside here and this is where the extension pole screws in and i don't know it looks all torn up it looks like it, yeah that's fun in there um it's does it look so, i'm not sure what's going on down inside there but you know it's, it i looks angry um <laughs> it's it's very upset down in there <laughs> um so i'm kind of worried about it but ex hooking or screwing on an extension pole but maybe that's part of the system maybe it keeps it tight but it is the um the wire i guess you would call mm -hmm. it is pretty strong yeah so that is very strong so um you know, it's, uh, I don't, I can't easily break it or anything. So, you think so that would far. fit on a jumbo weenie roller? So that's a very good question. Because can you, can you just use these little jumbo naps right here on a regular jumbo roller and not have to use this? So then you can use a regular cut-in bucket. Hmm. That's a good question. Um, here's another thing. I've noticed like the, the quality of the naps you're going to see you know, um, they're not cut very well and stuff. So each one of them, I've noticed, they've got little um, bits and pieces that are probably gonna have to be trimmed, you know, with scissors or something. It is very nice. It's a microfiber roller. You're supposed to, you know, dip it in there lightly and load it up. You don't want it to get all over the edges here. And so I'm just gonna load that up right here. Got my microfiber all loaded up. And now I should be able to roll it right here because I don't want paint on this red portion right here, I should be able to roll it here and get a nice line cut in. So I'm gonna load this thing up. Now my wife's probably not gonna be very happy that we're destroying her living room walls, but getting it loaded up. I think we're almost ready to go here. And we're gonna try and get a light up here. Hopefully we don't have to get up on a ladder. We can just cut right around that light. That's what they say you should be able to do. So here we go. Now, John, if you just, Drop that pan down so everybody can see. Let's see if it works. Okay. <laughs> um, 
For some reason, it's not working. But we're gonna, um, we're not gonna give up on it. Try, try, try again. Do you have any su uh, any suggestions, John? Oh, I have some suggestions, but <laughs> that's not working so well. Um, let me keep trying. <laughs> I'm I mean, not sure I want to do it on the ceiling because uh, then we got to crawl up there and fix it when it's done. Yeah. Look at this. We'll get it up. Try. <laughs> well, now, now you've messed up the trim. Okay. That's messing up the trim. So apparently you don't want anything on this red side. Red but you know, the, the, I wouldn't consider this a professional painter tool. I'd consider it more like a do-it-yourselfer tool for do it yourselfers, but I know they're selling, I've heard they're selling them in Canada, and they're selling them for, um, they're selling lots of them in the paint stores. But um, that is not producing. John, you know what, maybe it's just I'm gonna, me. Let me give it a shot here. Because John, you know, there are some things that John's better than me at, and maybe this is one of them. Yeah, keeping it off of the red part is not what I'm better at. And what have I done? So this is, I mean, this is really, not going so well because it's got paint all over our trim already here so my wife's not going to be too happy about that and this this is this really is the most ideal situation because you have a nice edge there and a it's huge should, edge too. a huge edge for it to be able to you know work on and that is not working john um i don't think you Putting 200 pounds of pressure <laughs> on it is going to make a difference. Um, that's okay. So, this situation hasn't worked, but we're not going to give up because we got a ceiling situation right here, John. Let's try the ceiling situation. Um, we're going to run out to the van, grab an extension pole because they know they recommend you use an extension. Well, you, John, you are tall enough. We got this. So, all right. Well, we can, we can grab a ladder or a pole. I mean, we got to give it a, you know, full. We gotta give it, you know, it's due. Is it diligence or is that you? Is that the I wrong mean, saying? I don't know if there's a right saying for this. <laughs> we, we gotta stop. Stop is the right saying <laughs> while you're ahead. John, well, we're, we can do it. I'm not sure if the video camera even gets the ceiling. <laughs> it's not even filming. Okay, it's filming, but it's let's get it up there on the ceiling. Okay. Okay, friends. Okay, John, there you go. That is interesting, what it's doing. So it's getting, it's getting paint onto the ceiling, which we don't want. It's making the most crooked possible line I can ever imagine. Go around that vent and try that one more time. Just keep testing this out and we're gonna find some place where it works. No. Okay, that is not working too well. Maybe we need a do-it-yourselfer. Maybe we can bring paint wife in here and she can help us out. Well Shay will be back in a minute and she's we're both do it okay. I'm thinking. You thinking that's not working there, John? Well, that depends on your definition of working. Okay, John, you Shoot brought in the instructions. <laughs> so we went back and we watched the video, um, a, fa a fast trim roller video, and it kind of had some instructions. And um, maybe our technique was could be a little bit. I mean, obviously better. our technique could be better. That is something. So, so John. John's got an extension pole. He's got a new one, or should we just stick with this one? I just don't even know. I don't, I don't so, even know anything about painting okay. anymore. So this is this is a situation. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to just extend it out, and so we want to. They said like extend it out like 14 feet, 14 feet, and then once you you rolled it out, then you go back and do the edging process. So with pressure. With pressure. So I've got my pressure on, and bam, there I've edged it. Mm, debatable. So would you call that an improvement? Uh, no. <laughs> no? We can try it again right here, so I'm just gonna, Let, let's. Um, I'm just gonna extend it out. 
They say to extend it out, and then once it's extended out, then you apply pressure and edge. You wanted a dark gray living room, right? <laughs> so it's it's still it kind of leaves this quarter inch gap. Yeah, it's not even with, like a small gap. Like it, that's it's a massive gap with. Um, paint all over like it was like it bled through the tape like really bad is what it would look like and so um we've got a really bad paint job on here maybe right now. he's using like smooth walls maybe your texture is the flame maybe uh i i'm trying to i'm trying real hard to figure out i'm not sure where it would work i mean <laughs> we, don't, we don't have level five um we do have a light over here um I'm just not sure where it's going to work. I don't think that's going to work. I, I mean, right here. Oh, man. I mean, right even here. if we just did it in the right, middle. Right there. It should have, I mean, if it's going to work anywhere, that's this, like, smooth. Okay. All right. Let me move the right. camera over there, and We're John trying. will get a view of you, John, right there. Oh, man. You guys are teaching me. you got to extend it out and then put your oh, pressure. Oh, right. Extend it out, and now... Why is it dry sound like that? Don, I'm kind of wondering like how long you've been painting. Well, not long enough. You're supposed to be the professional to teach me how to do it. We're, we're, we're learning ourselves. Extend it and, then... and pressure. Is it supposed to get on the vent? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> well, no. Not it's today. not supposed to. How is it keeping it away? I, I'm well, not sure. It uses... It has this little quarter inch foam thing right here, and then you're not supposed to get any paint on that red thing right there. How do you not do that? Um, you, you, when you load it up, you want to be careful and just touch training. it in the paint. Just a little bit. You touch it in the paint a little bit, and then you roll it up into the roller like this. So you don't dip lots of paint down there because you don't want paint on the end. Okay, so should I try to do this? Yeah. So you can try to do it. We're going to set you up. Uh, professional painter. Tool? What is this little thing for? I think it's more like a on um, there. You oh, so you take those. Out. Adjustable. So you oh, that's that kind of cool. So you figured that out. That's really cool. So that's you like kinda, that. Yeah, it's kind of fun. All right. So okay. John, let's give it. So I want to do it. I want to do it a fun way. Like. Yeah. 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 That's oh fun. boy. <laughs> How could it go wrong? It, see, you can go this way. It's yeah. fun. Okay. Let's see if she can do a line so, better than us. Uh, so you don't get paint on the phone. That's the rule one. Don't get it on the phone. John's the teacher right now. Okay. okay. Let's, uh, we're going to set this guy here. Okay. <laughs> I start them and then the professionals come in after me. All right. And then, yep, right up against there and then push it against the ceiling and against the corner. Okay. This is... I'm getting it on the ceiling. Luckily, we are painters. Okay, why won't it go all the way up there? Is, is it supposed to go all the way up to the ceiling? Well, in theory. Because, like, you want it. Yeah, it's oh, a my little goodness. Tight in this year, a little yeah, more. That's, that's giving me problems. And then we'll, but we'll I need like more this. paint. There you go. I think I need more paint. So I'm supposed to lay it out. Yeah. And then press. Okay, that's not really working too good. <laughs> I don't I don't know where to go from here. Take just half a step back right there. There you go. So it's nice and level against the and now bring it up to the ceiling. And roll. Why won't it roll? Why won't it roll? Um why won't it roll? Do you want the polite answer or <laughs> why won't it roll? <laughs> because it doesn't work. <laughs> why won't it roll? The ceiling's, well, I think the ceiling's rough, and so it's catching on the, the texture's catching on the thing. So what did you learn, Shay? Um, I learned that this just goes in a straight line. Okay. And you only apply, like, half pressure the first time, and then the second time you go back over it, you apply more pressure. So right now is more pressure? Yeah. Okay. So how do you think it's working for you? It stops rolling like halfway through. Now roll it against the trim. Oh, against the trim? 
So you want to press it up against the trim so that red part should be touching the trim. Okay, I'm not seeing that coming out any better than John did. So, so maybe, maybe if you rolled, if, if you went, like put some pressure and roll like that, All see right. if, if that'll, if it, that's filling it in a little bit more, maybe you need to add a little more paint. All right. So is that what you were saying, <laughs> John? I was really hopeful because I couldn't see the line over here. I was like, oh, maybe it's working, it's working. Uh, yeah, I'm, it's not rolling. I'm not sure. It's not rolling. Why is it not rolling, you guys? Because she's a little bit too much pressure. Just ease up on the pressure. There you go. Okay, you're getting paint all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not only, not only are we going to be repainting our walls, but we're going to be repainting our trim. Huh. That's not working out so well. <laughs> so now we've had two do-it-yourselfers and two professional painters give it a try. So just want to go over just a few of the things with this. And I know we watched the video. The fast, the, uh, there's a video, fast trend video, and we you know, tried to do some of the things to get this to work. I know one thing that's really going to slow you down is trying to keep paint off this thing. I mean, it's incredibly yeah. difficult to try to keep it off the red part because we got paint all over our trim just in this short amount of time. And notice that the edges of the, the roller right here, it's all you know sticking out, so it's not trimmed out very well. It's not cut, it's kind of, I don't know, just a low quality roller. But the system itself, I don't, we've had you know, some real struggles trying to get a straight line. And I would think, I think we're like okay painters. And I think if you're a do-it-yourselfer, if we're struggling with it, a do-it-yourselfer might struggle a lot more with it. So any of the challenges you can see anybody having with it? I, yeah, I mean, I, I think the, I think it's, it's a pretty big pain to keep things off of the red. I, I think maybe, maybe, maybe if you had perfect circumstances, it was a level five finish, you, your trim was perfectly level straight, there were no issues with that you might be able to make it happen and you'd, you'd walk away with a, a straight line, but I think that there are other products that are a little bit more forgiving and that will, will do a better job for you. Yeah, here's another th issue, and I, and I saw when Lisa was rolling the ceiling and, and trying to keep you know the right pressure, because typically you're gonna have the um, roller in your hand and the roller would be straight, you're gonna be doing your edges, and you can put the right amount of pressure, you can feel the amount of pressure you're putting, and you really have a good idea of what you're doing, the amount of pressure you're putting. Once this thing is up, it's extended, and at an angle, trying to get the right amount of pressure, you know, across the whole roller evenly, and that's what Lisa was struggling with right there, was just that whole process. I just think that's extremely difficult, and, and I don't know if I touched on it, when, when I'm doing cut-ins, when I'm doing ceiling cut-ins, high work, I like to be right there and see what I'm rolling. I like to see if I'm missing anything, if there's little pinholes, divots that I need to work the paint into. And once it's extended and you can't see what you're doing, you truly can't see if it needs, you know, one coat, two coats, three coats. I think just as a professional painter, you need to be right there and see what you're doing. I think that it's going to be faster and you're going to end up having a better line if you just use a regular brush and roller. And um, this channel has a bunch of videos and you can check out the links right here about how to go about having professional cut-ins just using a brush and a roller and not necessarily having to have some um, tricky doodad to try to get that done. Yeah, I just don't, yeah, and I totally agree. I don't think you need, you know, some, you know, gizmo for everything. I think it's sometimes you know, it's just the simple basic tool that will give you the best results. And so we're professional painters. Come here, Lisa. Um, paint wife is here. Lisa, um, we want to have a do-it-yourself or give it your star rating in your review. Okay. I need help. I'm not a good painter. And so I was kind of excited because you guys can't always do painting for me. And so I thought maybe I can use it. I liked this little thing. I thought that was fun. And what might you use that for? I don't know. <laughs> it's fun. It, it's fun. And, okay. it, and it works. That works. Okay. Give so, 
but it didn't, as you can see, I mean, I probably have to practice, but I don't think I would have done that bad with a regular roller. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should try it with a regular roller, but I don't think I, I don't think it helped me. Ultimately, you got to give it your one, one to five star rating. So what are you going to give it? Oh gosh. I like this little thing, even though it doesn't really do anything. Okay. It makes it kind of fun. Moment of truth. I, the it, DYI error. It didn't help me. I guess that's the problem. Like one to five. I have zero skills, and it it, it needed to one to five. Do, like, now you're just stalling. <laughs> okay. Everybody wants to know. Everybody's maybe waiting. there's somebody that's better at DIYing than me. Okay. And so maybe a one star. One star. Thank you very much, paint wife. Hope you guys enjoyed this video because um, we're very frustrated. Um, I really thought this was gonna work because I did try it a lot, a lot of years ago and it did perform a little bit better than that, but it just really doesn't work for us. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, we've got some paint to do, <laughs> some stuff to fix, so we gotta get back to work. We'll see you on our next video. Out. Out. <laughs>